Okay, so uh, like I said, um, I'm going to start these things called Recovery Chronicles because I really believe in the, in the program Cyber Recovery. Uh, I've been uh, smoking marijuana since the age of 12, 13. Uh, I'm 39 now. I've been an alcoholic since I was 14. Started out drinking vodka at a very young age. Uh, spent a year in a rehab when I was 17, court ordered, because by then they already knew I was a full blown teenage alcoholic. Uh, I didn't. I finished the program, but I didn't take heed to the uh, to the lessons that I learned in life, uh, you know, about life. So I kept on drinking for another up teen years. I uh, started working in the bar at a very early age, which didn't help things because it was like putting a little kid in a candy store. Uh, you know, uh, first thing I did was call up all the homeboys and say, hey, come on down. I'm a bartender, you know. And uh, for about the next 10 years, uh, all through my 20s, I started when I was 21, 1999, actually about 23, 24. Uh, felt, I, I felt sound like I was 21. Anyways, I... Uh, you know, I drank my 20s away, uh, did marijuana, did a crank, acid, you know, all, all, all the drugs that you can think of, uh, you know, all while the meantime I was uh, cheating on my uh, first wife uh, because of um, my insecurities of life, the things that I was running from, uh, just, you know, not having respect for myself marriage or, or her, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I can't change the past, I can just, I've asked for forgiveness, and, uh, you know, we, we moved on, that was a long time ago, I now have a, a, a new wife, uh, we've been together nine years, um, we've been married one, and she's helped me raise my children for the last uh, nine years, you know, so, you know, God taught me a lesson, I learned it, and uh, I got a second chance at life and love. Um, you know, I've been in recovery since January twelfth uh, um, this year, two thousand thirteen. Today's uh, one hundred and fifty days clean and sober. Uh, day, I mean, uh, month number five. You know, my fifth month. If I knew about the social camp thing a long time ago, I probably would have started a long time ago. But it's fairly new to me, and I like it because it gives me a chance to reach out to a lot of people that, that 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 may not know about this or may be going through the same struggles that I'm going through. You know, I thought I was going to smoke weed forever and get high. You know, that's the way I lived. I, I, I loved it. You know, I loved getting high. You know, I will, I'd wake up in the middle of the night, just go to my garage and smoke a joint or smoke a roach. And I'd wake up at 5.30 in the morning and, and, and start my day off with, with getting high. You know what I mean? And, and it was awful, you know, because now that I'm, I'm clean, I look at all the time I wasted. All the time it took me away from my wife. All the time it took me away from my kids. I mean, no wonder why my kids, you know, have issues with me now, you know. And, 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 but we're, we're rekindling our relationships. You know, through the power of Jesus Christ and through the power of love. I mean, love goes a long ways, you know, and they see that I love them enough and I love myself enough to, to want to change. You know, even though I'm uh, I'm getting older, there's, there's no age to, to, to start over. You know, you you can do things. You know, Christ is there for you at all times. So, what I'm saying is, uh, you know, you got to work the steps. You know, you got to first admit it. Come out of denial. Admit that you need help. Uh, find a, a, a program in your area, you know, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you can go to CelebrateRecoveryYouNow.com and find one in your neighborhood. If you're not a believer or, or if you are and you still like uh, the uh, the power of AA and, a and NA, that's, that's great too. You know, the big book has, you know, we practice the same 12 steps that they do. We just put biblical beatitudes behind the eight principles. And, uh, you know, and that's what works for me, you know, since I'm a Christian. And, uh, you know, and I keep myself busy. Uh, I go to Bible studies uh, twice a week. I go to Cyber Recovery. Uh, I'm in a toss that program. I go once a week to that. Uh, Friday night is our Cyber Recovery night. Uh, and that's our small group meeting. And, uh, you know, I really look forward to that. It's one of my favorite ones a week. I go to church Saturday night and Sunday morning. So, uh, for right now, I, I keep myself rooted because... When I was working in the club 40 hours, 50 hours a week at one time, that's how much time I was dedicated to the, to, 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 to the party life. So why can't I dedicate that much uh, time to Jesus Christ? So that's where I'm at right now. So today's 150 days. I'm very proud to say that I'm clean and sober. I'm a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. And, uh, you know, if you'd like to friend me, comment on this, something, you know, go for it. I'll hit you back. Um... And pray for me, and I will pray for you. 
And, uh, you know, hopefully I could uh, find some more accountability partners out there. And, uh, you know, I could you can help me as well as I help you. So have a good day. God bless. Take care.